What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I definitely miss you guys. I know that I've taken a little bit of a break, but uh, I'll totally explain that once I get on the bike. Uh, if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. I got some links down below if you wanna save a few bucks on some different bikes, some Amazon affiliate links. And I wanna get into the, today's video. I got a couple little special updates for you. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so first off, um, yes, I have bought myself a little kit, a big kit, big boy kit. This is the 5,000 watt uh, motor with the 72 volt battery system that goes on to Super 73 bikes. Um, it's not by Super 73, it's by Custom E-Bikes. And here's the tires I'm gonna be throwing on them. These are some Shinkos, they're gonna be super tight. This whole build is basically inspired by my boy Jimmy, uh, also known as Jayton on Instagram, Jimmy from Philly. Uh, I rode his Super 73R who has the same kit, same tires, and it blew my mind. I literally tried to, that day, trade him my huck straight up trade huck for that super 73 build he did he didn't want to do it so i said okay and i went out and i got my own kit <laughs> so anyways i'm not going to show what bike it's going to go on yet i'm still working that out but this is basically going to go on to an r or an rx and i'm going to have the same build as jimmy and that bike is going to rip and we'll see what happens with the huck <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? Gas or electric? Just gotta try to do his wheelie game. Anyways, welcome back, guys. Uh, as you saw, I definitely have not been on here for a minute, uh, not because I didn't want to make videos or I needed to take a break, um, but because I literally was skateboarding and I was on the skateboard. I rolled into the grass like I've done a million times. I've skateboarded like my whole life and I was going pretty decent speed and I literally as soon as I went on the grass hit a golfer hole flew forward and cracked a rib so needless to say uh, I don't know if you guys have ever cracked a rib but it definitely sucks and uh, it hurts to breathe and all that stuff so anyways I was just taking it easy and about a week and a half ago my kids school sends an email saying hey somebody in the second grade class has a confirmed case of the Rona and I was like oh that's that sucks, <laughs> my kid's in second grade. So he came home from school that day and uh, we tested him and yeah, he was positive. We tested my daughter, she was positive. My wife and I were not. And anyways, the kids are doing better now. So just was one of those things that was like one after another. We got, I had the cracked ribs, so I had to like, you know, just taking it easy. And then we get the kids with the Rona. We're going to Hawaii next week. So I was like, well, at least we get it out of the way now, hopefully. So we might have to actually push our Hawaii plans back a week or two. Uh, but anyways, that's the update on why I haven't really been posting a video for the last, I think it's been like 23 days. It's crazy how quickly, um, you know, you post a video and then a few days go by and you check and it's been another 20 days or whatever. So I try to get a video up once a week. I'm gonna keep with that schedule. I think that the uh, crazy shit's kind of out of out now, hopefully. We got the ribs getting better, big time. Uh, it's much better than it was last week, let me tell you that much. Kids are on the mend. I appreciate all the people who have sent me DMs who uh, had heard or seen that I had talked about the rib and the kids situation. I have spent like the entire last week chilling on this app, this new app called Whatnot. Um, Basically, you can sell things if you're a seller or buy them. It's like live bidding, live auctions. And um, yeah, anyways, I have a little link for that. It's not sponsored, just we both get 10 bucks. If you sign up with my link, it's, I'm not trying to push you guys onto some new random app, but uh, I think I might start selling um, some streetwear and some shoes on there. Uh, I've always been into like shoes and whatnot. So uh, <laughs> whatnot, whatnot app. Anyways, um, if you guys are interested, there's a link down below. Okay, so the surprise that I was trying to talk about, you guys kind of probably saw it already, if I showed it in the video, is the 72 volt um, build, 5,000 watt motor for uh, my Super 73. Well, not for any of the ones I currently have, but it's gonna go onto an R or an RX. That full suspension, uh, when you have a heavy bike like that, is gonna be proper. I have to say I'm inspired to do that build uh, from Mr. Central Driver as well as uh, my buddy Jayton, Jimmy from Philly. He's um, he's the one that I actually got to ride his bike and that's what changed my whole entire thought process when it comes to if you want a fast bike, right? The Huck is awesome. I love my Huck, but 
the thing looks like a freaking motorcycle and because of that you know you guys have seen it if you've seen a couple of my videos where people are giving us a little bit of issues on the fast bikes so I'm thinking okay I'm gonna make my little bike littler bike the super 73 a super 73 bike go as fast as the huck then I'll be able to like stealth go fast <laughs> anyways drop a comment what you guys think about that I'm freaking hyped it is freaking windy as hell holy crap I hope you guys can even hear me so back in the day I built a BMX bike from scratch but I've never built an electric bike so uh, what do you guys think should we have shreddy fly out here sometime in July help me build it up let me know in the comments I know shreddy would want to come to California again Hey guys, I wanted to show you, um, I added a couple different things to this bike uh, you may or may not have seen. Uh, again, since I took a little hiatus to take care of the uh, situations that were at hand. Anyways, throwback. Throwback bikes. Um, shout out to them. They actually came down and showed me all their products and hooked me up with this rear, ra rear rack um, for the S2. Uh, they also make one for the R and the RX and uh, they got a bunch of stuff. They got center molly panels and all kinds of things. but. What you guys think? You like the way it looks? I think, you know, at first I wasn't really a rack guy, but I kind of like the way it kind of, I don't know, just makes the bike kind of look a little longer and more complete in my opinion. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Um, also, my boy Elicit LA, he hooked me up. This is like, I believe it's an unreleased uh, blur boundary seat that Elijah had gave out at a race we did um, a few months back. I wanted it ever since he won it and yeah the homie hooked it up so I got that on there um, basically that's the only new stuff besides I got some interesting pedals kind of like grip tape like a skateboard um, I got this actually off of Yatu Chavez is he has a I think it's a five five percent um, discount link or something like that um, but yeah I'll link uh, Yatu's Instagram you guys can hit him up they were like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. But I can tell you, they're like one of the most comfortable pedals that I've ever, I, you know, a lot of times you get a bike, you're like, whatever, pedals are pedals. These pedals are actually really comfortable. I'm thinking of getting them for uh, my other seven, six, seven bikes that I got. <laughs> they're really cool. Anyways, yeah, so just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bike breakdown. It's been a minute. Shout out to Manny over here doing the graphics and stuff. If you guys need anything done, any decals for your bike, he's definitely got the hook on that. Um, I got the Super 73 grips. These are really comfortable. They're squishy. I got the Bike Shop Delaware Bell. <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise, this is basically the update of the bike. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of videos coming soon about the 72-volt bike build. Uh, it's probably going to be a month before I start actually building the bike. I'm Like, a, like I said, I'm going out of town, going to Hawaii. And also, I've never built an electric bike, so I'm probably going to have to have a, a friend help with that because I don't want to mess anything up, especially when you're dealing with something that costs that much money. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's going to make the bike that I'm putting it on really sick, so I'll have a super fast bike. I'll have a stealthy super fast bike. That's kind of like the whole goal of what I wanted. All right, guys. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I know it's been a break, but um, it wasn't an, a, a mean... I didn't mean to take a break. It was just some shit that happened, so we're back now. Uh, I will be posti posting up some more videos uh, while I'm out in um, Hawaii. And as soon as I get back, it's back to the grind. I got some group rides. I haven't been on a group ride for a long time. I know um, a lot of you guys like watching the group ride videos. I like making them. I like hanging out and riding with the friends, the homies. Um, so yeah, definitely got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, Bandit video. I'm, I'm going to do another Huck video. I have been offered to trade my Huck for a brand new golf cart that seats six, I think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Golf cart content on the channel? I mean, why not, right? Leave a, descript leave a comment down below. Check the descriptions for any uh, discounts if you guys are interested, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for the support. Peace. Yeah, one more thing, guys. Custom follow the squad Nikes. What? I think we're gonna do a giveaway in a little bit for uh, some custom shoes, but anyways, what do you guys think? All right, peace.